TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy May Edition with your host, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Star Wars Tales of the Empire. If you're new here, for our grade scale, for most of our stuff, because most stuff is streaming, it's going to be a must-see, must-stream. Then it's just going to be check it out as the mid-grade, and then the low-grade is going to be pass. Now, if you can't stream it, then it's going to be probably a buy, and then rent, if there's a rent or some form of that, since there's we don't really, you know, you could try it, I guess, you know, like, which is pretty much Game Pass type services, right? Or Gamefly. Yeah, 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 you could do that. Let's move on to the next thing, which is Star Wars Tales of the Empire. Did you check that out? No. Dude, you're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. This one was a uh, backstory. Did you watch uh, um, Ahsoka? Yeah. Okay. So you know Morgan Elsbeth, right, from Ahsoka? Yeah. She it was her backstory. So that's, it gives you more into her backstory as to like why or how she got to where she is. And then, do you know of uh, Barris Ophi or Offi? I don't think I do. She was a fallen Jedi. She just, it's her story of like how she became an Inquisitor and then also how she turned away from the Inquisitors and turned on the Inquisitors. So it wasn't really fully uh, Tales of the Empire. It was more like half of it was kind of Tales of the Empire and then the rest of it was like one and a half of the episodes were Tales of the Empire and the rest was Tales of the Jedi, really, is what it came down to. So I'm like... Uh, is it really what it says it is? No, but it was still really solid. One of those things that's not going to get you into Star Wars. You know, I, it, it gives you more back info, so if you want that, you get it, and it's cool to see. You do see Grievous. You do see, not Tarkin, uh, the blue guy. Uh, Thrawn. Thrawn. You see Thrawn, and you also see Vader and the Inquisitors and stuff, so if you want to see that stuff, it's there. That's where it is. So for me, it's a must-see and a must-stream. But I think for most people, it's probably either going to be like a pass or, or worth checking out. I think it's at least worth checking out for a Star Wars fan. Thank you for watching and checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Um, check out our merch. I'm wearing the Doctor Who uh, lettering with the Doctor Who TARDIS. We have other Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is actually was a prototype, so I've actually dragged it down so it's it's not so high up. So now the lettering is like more like right here, and then the the TARDIS is going to be right here. But um, and then I'm wearing rocking my Asul Beetle all print, um, not leggings. What do they call them? Joggers. Uh, which I, the all print is always the way to go. I, they're probably not on the site though because we only have a hundred items. But if you want it, we can hook you up. We can get them for you, and you're sporting. Uh, the periodically nerdy shirt which is just it's nerdy periodically yeah. obviously it's hilarious and brilliant which is so fitting for the ambassador <laughs> so yeah you know what let's do some shout outs too i got some shout outs for the peeps for that always at the top of the list we have atticus atticus uh and then we have um which is he's a youtuber and he's just raw and 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 real and he's a teacher out in vietnam and but he also just does slice of life stuff that's that's really interesting really great you know what it's like to have relationships with friends you know people of the um r romantic relationships even pre people of the opposite gender of your own or whatever and uh and and it's so cool i love just seeing it because it like the land is just beautiful like it's it's so cool to see uh mk jekyll and hyde is another one that is great. Uh, they do comics, like online comics, and they're great. And every it seems like every post they make is so inspirational. So I love their stuff. Uh, film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover all films. Doesn't matter. They will cover all of them because they, like us, will waste their time. So you don't have to. And uh, Mary May Media, which kind of sounds like what it is, which is anime media um, and a little Americana, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, and then uh, Superpower List, those guys are awesome, hardcore comic book nerds, talking nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.